Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Chef HD. Uh, today, we're gonna make some Greek meatballs. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to make my recipe. They're really good, they're really fluffy. It's a really easy recipe. I think you guys are gonna love it. Today's episode is sponsored by none other than my favorite restaurant, Nico's Greek Taverna in White Plains. We've been serving authentic Greek cuisine in Westchester County since 2005. Stop in and try some of our delicious Greek specialties or one of our new pan pizzas. Conveniently located on 287 Central Avenue in White Plains, New York. Mention this episode and receive 15% off your next takeout order. So what are you saying? Let's make some meatballs. <laughs> know somebody who's Greek this recipe is legit we're gonna start with five pounds of ground lamb five pounds of ground beef if you just do all lamb I think it's a little too gamey this is the one right here that the smell reminds me of Greece in the summertime all right so this is a two-part recipe pretty much everything except the meat I do that in a separate bowl and combine everything together so you're gonna need one small one large to mix everything into I use the panko and Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. I like these, I like the flavor in these. So mix the two together. I did one and a half onions, a bunch of garlic, this is really up to you. A good like bunch of fresh mint. So we got our aromatics all blended up. Got our breadcrumb. Throw our parmesan in there. Our salt. Our black pepper. Our three large eggs. And we got our milk. It's your best tool. Your hand. Alright. So mix that in good. Alright, so it might look a little loose at the beginning. But don't forget the breadcrumb is going to absorb that. You want it to like look like a loose oatmeal, kind of. We're going to mix in our aromatics. And that's the consistency right there. Yeah. I'm getting excited now. Alright, so we grab our big bowl. Throw our beef in there. Throw our lamb in there. And I would recommend to grab like a sheet pan because you're going to start rolling soon. And we want to go from here, right here, and then into the fryer. Get it? Great. Now we're going to mix that right into there. Size is really up to you. Uh, just know that the thicker you go, we're going to fry these meatballs. So the thicker you go, you're going to probably have to finish them in the oven. If they're a little too thick. All right, we're all rolled out. Our fryer's hot. Let's cook them off. So the fryer is set at 350. Feel free to leave some comments down below if you want to see me cook something or try something new. So now, you guys know how to make Greek meatballs. So any Greek friends that you have, you got this one under your belt. All right, so get like a little, a little bowl like this with some paper towels in it for when they come out. All right, so right into the little basket. Some good paper towels. And let's finish these off. So we got our dish, put a little tzatziki on the bottom, just like that. Tzatziki, I promise I'm gonna have this recipe for you in a future episode. Uh, Nico's Greek Taverna and White Plains, our sponsor for today, my restaurant. We make killer tzatziki, so you guys gotta try this out. I'm gonna have the recipe for you soon, I promise. Shaved mint right on the top, just like that. And we're good to go, guys. 
All right, so now for the taste. Oh man, look at that. The meatball on its own, the lamb comes out a little more, but with the tzatziki, it kind of balances it out. Um, this is killer, man. You guys are gonna love this recipe. You got the mint, you got the garlic, you got the onion, but the meat didn't get lost with the breadcrumbs. All right, guys, so that's a wrap. Greek meatballs, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next week. Keep cooking. Peace.